iOS 18 is here and there are two features that are absolutely mind-blowing. It's something we've been waiting for for years to come and it's finally here. And that's that you have the possibility to hide apps on your home screen or even lock them with your passcode or face ID. I know in the past I've made videos about this and most of the time you had to use the shortcuts app for that but now that's not needed anymore. Now you can natively do it. So let me show you that this iPhone is running iOS 18. Obviously you can already see with the home screen being like this. So we go to general and in general we go to about and as you can see here, iOS 18 is running. For now, let me show you how awesome and easy this feature is. So let's for example say we wanna lock the photos app with face ID. Very simple, you just simply long press the app and now you'll get this option here in the bottom require face ID. So let's click on that and you'll get this little message here saying this app will require face ID or your passcode to open or show content in other apps. App content will not appear in notification, previews or spotlight. Now to enable this feature to require face ID on the photos app, we hit require face ID. Then you have to use a face ID as I just did. And then you can see your photos may appear in the apps below without using face ID. You can change this in privacy settings. So you can see that the photos app already has access to these apps. There are photos that may appear in these apps. And just to confirm this, simply hit a done and we're good to go. So now if you wanna open the photos app, face ID should be prompt, should be activated. So let's try it and there you go, I just did that again, face ID, face ID required to open photos and there you have it. So the other awesome feature is that you have the possibility to hide specific apps. So let's for example, hide my app that I created widget beats. So first what we need to do again, we long press on this app and here you need to go to require face ID again. So let's do that. And now you get this menu, so you can only do this with third-party apps. You cannot do this, I believe, with all the native Apple apps. And you have this possibility here to hide and require Face ID. Tap on that and then activate Face ID. And now as you can see, hide widget speed question. You want to hide this. This app will no longer be visible on your iPhone, except in a few places such as settings, Face ID, or your passcode will be required to reveal open or use Siri with the app. We'll have an obscured app appearance and no notifications or calls or alerts will be received by you. Confirm to hide widget beats and boom. Now it's gone and it's not available here on the screen. Now, if you want to see your hidden app, so let's say you've done that, you have to go to the app library menu, just like that. And you scroll all the way to the bottom and here you have this hidden tile. When you press it, Face ID will be asked or your passcode, there it is. And there you can see all the apps that you have been hiding. And now simply to bring it back to the home screen to make it visible again, you simply long press it in this hidden folder, the app. Then you press on a don't require face ID, just like that and boom. Now it's removed from the hidden section. And now as you can see, Instagram is now available. Let's do that with widget beats as well. We long press on it. Don't require a face ID, just like that. And boom, it's gone out of the hidden folders. And now you can just find it again in your apps library. Let's search for a widget beats. There it is. And now we can just edit where it was. There we go, hit done. And there you have it guys. This is how you hide and also lock apps individually in iOS 18. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my new videos. See you in the next one and peace.